Okay, this is a follow-up to a previous video where I showed you how to quickly create a button in HTML on a web page uh, for generating an H, uh, uh, email with invoice or whatever. We're gonna quickly look at doing that with Godot because I mentioned in that video that you could do it with any programming language. So we're gonna look at it in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and new project. I'm just gonna call it invoice because we're generating an email that's gonna send invoices theoretically. Create that, create that and edit it. I'm gonna do this real sloppily. I'm gonna say 2D, although you could create something 3D that you click on, um, <laughs> uh, but we'll rename this invoice sender, sure. Uh, but we're going to now add a child and I'm just going to make it a button and I'm just gonna go a regular button here. I'm going to take that button. I'm just gonna throw it in the center of screen here. Obviously you'd wanna spend more time making it look nice and centering it probably with code. Uh, but we're gonna say send invoice, right? So we've created this button. We're gonna do this. We're gonna click over here on nodes. We're gonna, oh, first let's add a script to our main mother object here. And we're going to say, uh, attach a script. Yeah, we'll call it that. Again, just going through this real quick. We're gonna say when this is pressed, we are going to, we'll use a function called send invoice or email or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter. And, and we only really need one line of code in here. We are going to say OS shell open. And then here we're going to say mail to, and who we want to mail to, customer at site.com. Uh, and then we'll say, so that will allow us to open up an email to a certain person, but we also wanna have a subject, right? So we're gonna say question mark subject equals your invoice. And again, this would generate probably an invoice number that you can have put in there. And then we're gonna say end body. Now we could just put the body right here, but body might get a little big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable. I'm just gonna say var body up here, okay? And then down here, and then I'll just say, here is your invoice, period. Okay, and we're gonna say body. Now, one thing different doing in here is it uh, didn't like uh, the HTML. So in the HTML interface, I was able to pass my Thunderbird HTML. Uh, for some reason, when I was doing that, it was showing the HTML, not generating the HTML. So our format is gonna be a little bit different here, but real quick, I'm just going to give a link to a theoretical um, invoice. So I'm gonna say HTTPS, mycompany.com forward slash invoices, ID, and then you would have like some random ID for that link so that they can get to it, but nobody else can because they're not going to guess this big long string. And if I typed everything properly, we should be able to, well, save this first and we'll just call it invoice sender, sure. And then we'll hit F5 and say, yes, I want this to be my default scene. And we have this button. And right now with, with Godot, you can uh, render this out. Uh, you can put it in a web page. You can uh, make an APK for an Android phone. You can make an executable for Windows or Linux uh, and uh, iOS and everything. So you just create a program that should be cross-platform. Now, when you're using Shell Open, uh, you're getting something that might not be compatible, but theoretically, all those operating systems, I haven't tested it, should be able to open up a mail to link. But again, I haven't tested it, but your web browser can do it. So I would think your other applications could too. But I'm gonna click send. It's gonna open up Thunderbird. And here it is, it has, uh, here's your invoice with that link. Uh, and then I added a signature into my Thunderbird. So that will always be at the bottom there. Um, again, not as nice as looking as before. We did, had some formatting and stuff because we used HTML and I'm sure that's possible. But uh, real quick, let's just make this, put this on a second line here. So what we're gonna do is instead of using HTML, we're gonna use URL encoding. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to say percent zero A. And that's a, uh, we'll should generate a new line. We're gonna hit F5, send, and there you go. Uh, now, most web client or email clients will create that as a link once they receive it. So they should be able to just click on that and go to the invoice. Again, this is very basic, just generating an email. So theoretically this could be for anything. I were using invoices as an example because that was a real, real world situation that I recently encountered. Uh, but you have your program, it generates an invoice. 
and then you're going to give someone access to that invoice uh, and send them an, an email, but not saying an email using your application, which is just a bad idea, which is the problem that I recently got into with some people. You want to use whatever the default email client is, and that's what this does here. Basically, OS is saying use your operating system, use your shell, and open up whatever default program it is for mail. So whatever you have on your operating system set up as your default email client, in my case it's Thunderbird here just as an example, but you can set this up for Outlook or Gmail. And you don't set up your application, you just say, hey, operating system, what do you use to send emails? This is what I want to send. And it'll open it up and they can make modifications and then send it. And that's it. It's that simple. Literally, literally one line of code. I broke it up onto two just to make it a little more me readable. You don't want your lines to be too long. But that is it. Again, uh, we didn't get as fancy as the formatting as we did in the previous example. I was hoping I'd just be able to use that HTML. But for example, if I did H1 around this to make this a uh, header, which is what we did in the previous example, you'll see when I do that in this example, it actually puts the H1 there rather than formatting it like that. Again, using Thunderbird, so it's just uh, passing it somewhat different than the web browser was. Uh, and I'm sure there's a way to get that to work appropriately with your local applications rather than a web application. Basic concept is there and the fact that some commercial products don't have this functionality when it's literally one to two lines of code uh, is a little ridiculous. But thanks for watching and as always, I hope that you have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K, playing tutorial videos there. Again, have a great day.